The return to classes in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic has been the motivation for debate, affliction, and worry for teachers and parents across Brazil. In Sao Paulo, the planned return to school activities on September 8th, despite the increase in confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state, led teachers, unions, and people's movements to take to the streets on Wednesday, July 29th. They gathered outside Murumbi Stadium in Sao Paulo to carry out a car caravan to the seat of the Sao Paulo state government. Their cars, however, were blocked by the military police. Teachers, healthcare workers, social movements, and supporters decided instead to walk to the seat of government, but were again blocked by police. The protesters were not able to engage in dialogue with the state government. The president of the Union of Teachers of Official Education of Sao Paulo State, APOSB, and the state deputy for Sao Paulo, Maria Isabel Acevedo Noronha, called the position of the Sao Paulo government authoritarian. Governor Joao Doria again shows his authoritarianism, blocking educational workers and healthcare professionals from APOSB and the Health Workers Union access to the Bandeirantes Palace. They do not even allow us to arrive by foot, but we will not give up. Our struggle is in defense of life, against the return to in-person classes, for the recognition and valorization of the healthcare workers and the issuance of the emergency aid to temporary teachers without salary, she confirmed. CUT Sao Paulo President Douglas Iso also criticized the police blockade. This car caravan is a legitimate mobilization against the return to in-person classes in the moment when COVID-19 cases continue to rise. A struggle that is not only of the teachers, but of all of society, since the return to classes without healthcare safety, beyond increasing the possibility of contagion, puts at risk not only teachers, but students, parents, functionaries, and their families. Yeah, cantar, que vamos a triunfar, a avançar.